Hey guys, Romy here. <laughs> now, this is my Queen Sugar review for episode 10 of season 1 so far. The episode starts off with Micah, you know, he's watching Kiki uh, do her uh, dance. She's on the drill team, and it looks like she's the captain of the drill team. And I was like, no, it's really nice to see something like a drill team, because it's not just like, one, two, three, four, I declare a thumb war. No, it's like, mm, eh, eh, eh. But, as we know, Kiki's just super infatuated with Micah, even though she's trying to play hard to get. She keeps saying how, oh, you know, my friends are like, oh my gosh, that's Micah. Are you two in a relationship? I'm thinking... Yeah, she wants to be in a relationship with you, and you know you want to be in a relationship with her. So let's stop playing around with this. And I'm still trying to figure out what her angle is, if she just likes him, and she's just trying to be coy and wants him to chase her. But I did like the fact where she was like, now hold up, excuse me, but uh, hello, the, the door? And he was just like, oh yeah, and he opens the door for her. I'm like, you know what? They raise you right, Kiki. I don't care what he says. They raise you right. Nova uh, is celebrating with her girl because Nova is going to go and, you know, be interviewed. And the thing is, her girl wants her to do this whole Black Lives Matter thing. And Nova is there for that as well. But Nova isn't trying to make that the uh, focal point and just cram it down people's throats. She wants people to understand her point of view and to understand her and where she's coming from. That's the whole point of point of view. And she can't do that if she's just radicalizing it and I feel like that's what her girlfriend wants her to do. Charlie is going through it herself because Charlie's just, uh, she heard what's going on with um, with everything in her life and you know the private school that Mike is supposed to be going to. They want to speak to Charlie and Davis. Why? Because of the incident that happened back in California. Because you know those schools talk and they have reputations to protect, so they need to do a background, comprehensive background check on everything and everyone. We see that they invited, invited their um, head of the farm guy, and the issue is their workers aren't there. Their workers aren't there because of the whole th concept of, hello, because of what happened, them working later, it wasn't your fault that they died or were killed, but... The fact of the matter is, our friends are dead, and now what are we supposed to do? Now, and originally, I, it didn't make sense to me, only because I'm listening to this like, wait a minute, something's off here, something's not right. So, they're trying to figure out how they can wrangle up some workers, and he was like, don't worry about me, just get the meal, de meal deal done. That's all you need to do. Focus on that. She's like, yeah, you're right. Here comes Anfai. Anfai's there, and Anfai's like, wait a minute, I'm actually happy now, what's wrong with y'all? And they, um, say what happens, but in the midst of all of that, Darla comes! Darla comes, and Anfai had this look up, this little bit, Because ah, Blue walks in, and it's just like, wait, wait, so, your mom's taking you to school? And here comes Ralph Angel, looking like, oh, I'm so sorry, I forgot to mention it, I apologize. Because as we know, technically Ralph Angel isn't Blue's guardian. That may be his father, Darla may be his mother, but that's not his guardian. So of course, everyone's looking at Ralph Angel like, you ain't ish. Really? Really? How can you go and make, oh lord. And you know she doesn't like Darla, oh, and Darla's gonna be going picking up Blue for Jesus, bringing who to school and picking them. No, no. Vi is upset and irritated, so she's working in her garden. And here comes Hollywood. Hollywood brings her some violets to plant in her new garden. And Hollywood just wants to be forgiven. Hollywood understands what he said was wrong and it was deceptive, but he's not a bad person. So why are we going painting this whole narrative of, nah, dude, nah. Because that's how... On Vi's kind of acting, and you know, once she realized, you know, maybe I'm being a little too hard on him, he's already gone. So she's like, Oh Lord. Uh, Ralph Angel, of course, goes and visits Blue while he's at school. He's gonna go and pick him up. And you know, that teacher's there, you know, the teacher that we like a lot. And Blue's teacher tells him about the permission slip because he wants to go to the zoo. So Ralph Angel signs, and the teacher's like, You know, Blue's so lucky to have a good father. Ralph Angel's like, Nah, I ain't ish. You know, I'm just. I'm just trying to be a good dad because my father was a good father to me. Nova comes home 
and her house is infiltrated by the Black Lives Matter Women's Committee, and she's looking at this like, oh, this is so cute. Babe, can I speak to you for a moment? What are they doing here? What are they doing here? Well, they're here because we need to go work on your speech. Work on my speech? See, that's funny. How is it my speech if you're working on it for me, even though I'm not really sure what I'm going to be saying myself? Come on now. Come on now. This is a little bit too much. You're going a little bit too fast. I feel like this is you taking over. You you have the takeover spirit. And I want to focus on what I want to believe and what I um want to say. But I can't do that with you telling me what you want me to believe and want me to say. Uh, Charlie, again, is uh, she's going to go and do the whole thing with the mill. And she scheduled an appointment for that. But again, that's when she has the bad news with Micah's school and the issues going on there. On Vice, like, what's wrong? And Charlie's like, you know what? I need a moment. Blue gives her a hug. She's like, oh, Blue. Uh, and Charlie, it's interesting because on Vice tells Charlie, you know, at the end of the day, regardless of what Davis did, that's still Micah's parent. That's still his father. So he should be allowed to be involved with uh, Micah and in Michael's, Micah's life and with his decisions. Ralph Angel has this look of, hold up, hold up. So Davis, who basically got his prostitute on the side raped, is allowed to go and see his son and be involved with his son, but I... Smurf? <laughs> Smurf? Anyway. Nova has... You know that guy that she... That usually buys the weed from her? He comes and gives her an update that... You know, Too Sweet and his family... Are in living in homeless shelters right now. Because they got hit hard with... All the court... Everything. The whole situation. They're living in a homeless shelter. So he just wanted to give her the heads up. It's like... People uh, watch out for him because right now we can't even find Too Sweet. He, um, Micah's so excited that he's going to have his little meeting at his uh, new prep school. And his mom said, yeah, well, that's not really going to happen. What happened? Well, the situation that happened back at home is uh, causing problems, still causing problems. It's like, wait, I thought you said, I know what I thought I said. You know that I'm a handler. I will, I will handle this for you because you're my son I love you I got this for you it shouldn't have you know these schools need to go and protect themselves even though there's nothing to protect they have to go and make sure that they vet every possible issue and the thing is on fire is like wait a minute why are you trying so hard to get your son into a place that doesn't want you or want him I'm thinking the same thing she said you know this school will allow him to have certain opportunities and she's saying, that's so well and good, but $11,000? Micah said, $11,000? That's funny. Try $36,000 a year or a semester, what, what have you. She said, 30, 36, wait a minute. The school right down the street is a great school, and you know Nova went there, and she went to a great college. And it's like, yeah, but I want Micah to get into certain co uh, colleges so that he can have certain things afterward and on virus is like you know i got a good education there you know but then again you know i don't even make thirty six thousand dollars a year and she said you know and that's exactly why i want my oh i'm like charlie you disrespectful airhead sometimes some of the things that you say i'm like damn you really didn't grow up with them did you because you're thought process is so different in some ways that that's great but in other ways you you almost come off as privileged and I don't know how it happened I don't know how it happened but you almost come off as privileged yourself and while she's talking to the mill guy he's saying you know it's a 40 60 split it's like 40 what so the mill wants 40 percent of the uh, profits and I look at this like wait a minute you know I actually negotiate coaching stuff and it's usually 5% and it's like well it's very different we're very familiar with you so one we know you got the money and two we're gonna squeeze you for everything we have but we're not gonna say that excuse me and you know he gave her a tour of the whole factory and this was like you know we actually give more of a percentage depending on what uh, quality you bring in for us 
and you could be making upwards of like four hundred thousand dollars depending on what you can bring in. Landon's and this other family are um, pretty much intertwined. She doesn't know that yet, but she's gonna find out soon. And uh, all the land that they own, they all basically own, they're intertwined. Um, someone married someone on each side, and now they go, one owns all the farms, one owns the sugar processing plant. It's just, it's a conglomerate. It's a conglomerate in the worst way. When Aunt Vi goes back to her job, because she, she's like, wait a minute, she overhears that the Hyella, that name, the Hyella, the Hyella got shut down. She goes and sees why. Well, the inspector wants to know if everything's up to code. The man, the owner has no idea. So he has to send everyone home and is trying to figure it out. And on Vice is like, well, you know, I went and got the, the AC vent. Oh yeah, that's good for another two years. Or that's good for, that just got replaced over the summer. And it's like the fire alarms, I check those batteries every Wednesday, the third of the month. And she was less like, wait, but where are the papers? I need all the papers for all this. Oh, wait, so you want me to just go and help you out and nothing in return? Yeah, that's not going to happen. You're going to go and make me the manager. And he was just like, wait, with health benefits? He's like, I don't even give my family health benefits. Well, that, you have to chuck that up with the Lord, how you do your family wrong like that. But you're going to treat me a little bit better. I'm going to get more money. And he said, yep, yep, I need you, I need you. And she's like, you know what, uh, Mr. Inspector, let's walk into my new office and let me get you those documents. And maybe I can get you even a piece of that pie. How does that sound? It's like, well, mighty good, ma'am. I'm thinking... That's how you do it, Aunt Vi. And I know that she wouldn't have had that type of mentality if it wasn't for what happened earlier that morning. But shout out to her, because that's how you do it. You saw an opportunity and you seized it. Ralph Angel goes back to Blue's school and the teacher's like, oh, I'm terribly sorry, but we need your Aunt Vi to sign for this because she's still the legal guardian. And I understand that you're his father, but the school, legally, they need for the legal guardian to be um, the person who signs off on it. This is like, yeah, it won't be the problem. Thank you. She's like, I'm sorry. You know, they need to get together. They need to stop playing around and get together because she's not going to get back together with Darla. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Or it better not happen. They're better apart. On Vi celebrating because she's the new manager. She's the new manager. And while she's talking to Charlie, Charlie talks about, you know, her experience. And uh, on Vi lets it be known, look, little girl. You need to realize that the, uh, what was it, the Landry's, the Landry's and the Landings know each other. They actually married into each other's family, and so they ran around buying up, like, all the farm, and if uh, you're indebted to one, you're indebted to both. And your father fought tooth and nail in order to try and keep the farm because they were going to do whatever they like squeezed all the profits out of the farm squeezed all the profits out of all the farms and they all work together to that's why it's the 40 60 split if the people are uh, producing sugar and this is the one factory they can go to then their profits are virtually gone and they can't maintain the farms since they can't maintain the farms they have to sell they have to sell to who the only person that's willing to pay them a lot the only person that owns everything else jesus and, uh, you know, <laughs> Blue's mother's there, and Blue's mother is just like, hey, what's going on? Why am I calling her Blue's mother if I don't know her name, Darla? Darla's there, and she's like, oh, so Blue's going to the school. I know he loves animals. I was like, yeah, but it's messed up because I have to get on Vi's signature. And she's like, I know she still doesn't like me, but it is what it is. We are all just trying to get uh, some forgiveness to move forward, I, I feel your pain type of thing. And this is where they came together, just in camaraderie, in the sense that Darla's still trying to work her way back into Blue's life, and Ralph Angel's allowing her to. Aunt Vi isn't really doing the same for Blue. She's so afraid that his father and mother are going to mess up that she's not willing to let them take full responsibility of their child. And she needs to let go because it's going to be healthy for her as well. So Hollywood is lining up uh, Ralph Angel. And 
Ralph Angel's just letting me letting it be known, you know, his frustrations with Aunt Vi. And Hollywood's just saying, you know, I'm trying to figure that out myself with her. Micah is on this date with Kiki. And they kind of, they pretty much define their relationship. Well, they attempt to, they kiss and the whole thing is Micah isn't seeing anyone. She's not seeing anyone. She's interested in him. He's uh, interested in her. It looks like a cute relationship. And I love the contrast. Um, you know. Light and dark, and I don't like I don't like that phrase light and dark. You know, she's technically uh, dark skin, he's light skin, and he likes her. I agree with Ashley because I was thinking about it. I was like, yeah, that's why I like this relationship or this budding relationship. That's nice. That's nice to see people all around just loving each other. Now the landings and uh, what was it? The landings and the other family. The sugar guy is talking to Charlie, and he's talking about how we basically own everything except for your land. That's it. And I'm going to give you an offer. I'm going to give you an offer you can't refuse. <sighs> Ralph Angel, you know, he's talking to Aunt Vi, and he's just upset because he's like, I understand where you're coming from. I really do. But how is it that you gave Davis, of all people... The green light to go and see his son said that Charlie has to go and allow uh, Davis to be in Micah's life when you're not allowing me to fully be in my son's life and have control over his life and his decisions. It's not fair. It, I'm out of jail, but I'm still imprisoned. I was like, Jesus. And he's crying. Oh, oh wow. that was that was a powerful scene, powerful moment, powerful words. And on fire left the room, and I'm thinking, Lord... She left the room, and here we go to the next scene. I'm like, wait a minute. Why is this scene still going? What's going on here? On Vi comes back out. She moseys back out. She has the parental papers. She signs off on it, giving Ralph Angel access back. And because originally it wasn't going too well. He was really just, uh, upset and saying, I can't even sign up on my son to go on a trip to see the animals. And on Vi, she was just like, oh, yeah, I'll sign this cool Copa Sex. She's like, you really going to go and not allow me to have control over my son's life, to be imprisoned, all of that. She signs the papers. He appreciates it. But you can tell it was still weighing on her heart regardless. But I think the fact that she got that job, all uh, everything that happened that day propelled her to mature enough to go and put enough trust into Ralph Angel to make a better decision to be a man, to be a father. <laughs> what was it she went to work and that little fast girl that works out there is just like, uh-uh, I want to see you actually move that mop. Hollywood's just like, congratulations. You know, I'm going to go off to work soon. And she said, no, no, st stay, stay. On five's like, stay. Now, let me pour you a cup of coffee. We can talk a little bit. So it's like, no, I like that very much. Now, Nova's talking with her girl, or now officially her ex-girl, because Nova needs to let her know, look, I don't know what your agenda is, I don't know if you love me, or like me, or just like what you think I stand for, or something's just off here, why are you trying to go so hard and make sure that I stand for this whole Black Lives Matter thing the way that you want me to do, instead of the way that I want to do it. She said, look, here's my problem with you. My problem with you is the fact that I saw those pictures. I saw how that man was uh, dressed in his hairstyle. He's a white man. He's a white police officer. And he gives me the same type of vibe I get from the other ones that we're supposed to be, um, you know, fighting against. They are our oppressors. And you're sleeping with one of them. You're not down with the cause. You're trying to do whatever you want. You're all over the place. We're just too different. We're different people. I stand for this. You stand for everything. I'm not sure if I can um, go and be with someone like that. I'm looking at her like, excuse, who are you judging? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you judging? Really? The voice had to get that squeaky because I'm looking at this woman like, Nova said, I'm going to do whatever I want to do. I'm going to be with whoever I want to be with. You can either be with me and deal with it or you can go. <laughs> her ex left. <laughs> I'm like, damn, Nova can't keep a person this season. She's going through it this season. And it's only season one. This is a good season.
uh, Charlie goes and tells the family that they got an offer for four million dollars. Ralph Angels is like, nah, that's what I'm talking about. Here's what you also need to know. The Landry's and the, um, what is it? The Bold, the Bows, that's what I'm calling them. The Bodes, they actually are family and they own pretty much everything. They went around and bought all the farms and bought up all the land except for ours. So we're not selling. She didn't say we're not selling. It's just like, here's the issue. We are the bordering line. This is the only portion that they don't own. Why do they want this land so much? It doesn't make sense. It really doesn't make sense. And then here we go on by um, with uh, the father's friend. It's just like, look, our father, your father told us not to say anything unless uh, you figured it out on your own, unless you asked. Here's what happened. The Landry land was actually... Um, it was actually land that was owned during the slave times. Yes. The land that you're on, the land that your father worked so hard for, it actually um, was owned by our uh, masters, if you will. The Landrys. Yeah. And they didn't take too well to us uh, taking the land back when the uh, Great Depression happened. They couldn't afford it. So... Our family ruffled up all the money we had and bought the land and uh, held the land ever since. But once they started to uh, gain power back, the Landry's and the Bows, they went around and started buying all the land around us. And then they were so upset that we wouldn't sell that they went and they killed off a bunch of our family. They killed off a bunch of our family for some piece of land. And then they even killed off the eld our eldest uh, father, our grandpa, killed him, strung him up to show to set an example, but we still didn't budge. We still did not budge. We did not move. We kept this land this whole time. They killed your father because they did everything they can to stress him out to the point where he died of sickness. They wanted him dead. They wanted to take the land up from under you because they thought maybe taking it from the kids would be very easy you know at this point in time all that's happened is black for brown instead of it being black workers working the land as brown workers yes our blood sweat and tears are truly with this land it is the only thing that those families don't have and that's what they want so bad they want it so bad because they mammy and they peppy told them that they are entitled to it but legally they uh, don't have it we have the deed originally the deed was nowhere to be found and then they came up uh, a couple of years later and so now we're at the part where it's in your hands Charlie went outside and Charlie it was weird because it felt like a pivotal moment you know all three of them just standing together and this is like so they want this land and it's like well uh, it's not for sale it's like no more running this is our land, and no one's taking it from us. No way, no how. I'm like, there we go. I don't know where they're going to go next with this, but I'm so excited. If I was like, wait a minute, there's two more episodes? Really? Really? Of what? But then I had to think about, like, oh, there's going to be a fight. There's going to be a fight, as in, Charlie has the... Imagine if Charlie got some investors in it. No, no, not investors, but... She has some money. She could flex some money in to... Uh, 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 the wheels are spinning. I'm just like, please like, come subscribe. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. Lord, President Trump... I